Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. I'm your host, Kelvin, and today we're playing Minecraft. This Let's Play is called The Industrial Revolution. And wh why, you ask? Because my goal in this Let's Play. First, we're going to create a new world. Um... Let's play. Just so I can easily identify this world. Um, more world options. Industrial Revolution. Just for fun, of course. Done. Alright. So. Now, um, the reason I'm calling this Let's Play the Industrial Revolution Let's Play is because I have Industrial Craft 2 and Build Craft installed. Ooh. Alright, starting island, rubber trees. For those of you unfamiliar with that, that allows me to build a large number of machines. As well as other neat mechanical related things. Now, the reason I'm calling this the Industrial Revolution Let's Play is more specifically because I want to find a testificate village and bring them into the Industrial Age. Um, via things like electrical power, illuminating their streets, and assorted things like that. Oop. Doot, 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 doot. Ooh, surface cool. So far this is starting out pretty good, I'd say. Oh wait, I have to make sticks first, right. Out of my way, you stupid pig. Don't worry, you'll get your turn. I can't help but feel like a wooden sword is no different than a wooden pole. Just, I mean, I guess maybe it's slightly sharpened or something? Mm, just doesn't seem like it would work at all, but that's the beauty of Minecraft, I suppose. Gonna need an axe. And a shovel. Probably should have just made it out of stone since there's some over there, but who cares? Doot, doot, doot. Like spike. Any more sap I can gather here? Really? Aw. Doesn't look like it. A shame. Though I can still try and find me some saplings. Yeah, there's a bit more. So all these resources that I'm finding right now look probably pretty weird to you. For those of you who haven't played Buildcraft and Industrial Craft, uh, I'm gathering rubber tree sap, which I can turn into rubber. And if I'm lucky, a couple of rubber tree saplings. Rubber trees are pretty rare, so getting a couple of saplings won't hurt. Right, I just broke the axe. Ah, well, whatever, I'll let those degenerate. Go over here and mine some stone and some coal. Got a couple of pork shops, so I've got an okay food source for a bit. Ah, sweet, sweet surface coal. And a lot of it, too. That's because I think in industrial craft they make the coal veins bigger, because of how much more you tend to use. And I mean, the greatest thing about industrial craft, I personally find, is it gives use to all the useless stuff. Like, redstone is valuable, lapis is valuable, uh, gold is fairly valuable. I, I'm going to say fairly, I mean, not. it's still not exactly the most useful thing ever. 
I mean, I, I will still probably on occasion pass upgrading gold. But, yeah. It, of course, adds a couple new resources into the game, one of that you've already seen, being an agricultural resource, of uh, tree sap. Alright, 19 coal. Pretty good haul. Alright then. Oh yeah, I never actually got any stone. Whoops. Totally meant to do that. But forgot. Crap. Ugh. Uh, I want the leaves to kind of degenerate, but they aren't cooperating, to say the least. Oh well. So, I will need one of those, two of those, three of those. Okay, that's enough for a pick to start me out. Hey, wait a minute. Lily pads are invisible. Uh, no, not quite invisible. Okay, fair enough. Alley oop. I suppose it's the midday now. I should probably get going, though. I do have surface coal, so I can make I can make a bunch of torches. Eh, wood's plentiful. Well, I only meant to make 64 torches. Oh well. All right. Let's grab some more pork chops. I don't really need this stuff in my bar. I'd rather have cobble. All right. Ooh, some sheep, too. Die, die. Damn it. Get, get your pink ass back here. <laughs> Teach him to run away. Alright. And I guess I can grab and kill a couple of sheep since, um, you know, a bed will be useful. Alright, there we go. Got some wool. And I'll have to grab some more wood and make it be able to make a bed. Uh, wow. The wool's so bright, it's kind of trippy. It's going to end mind with this. <laughs> that, that, that was kind of like going to give me an epileptic seizure or something. <laughs> Jeez. Nice mountain over there. So, let's head through this forest. Ooh. Watering holes. Anything of use in there? Does not appear so. I'm more or less looking for some kind of surface cave. Or something. And while I'm here, I uh, get enough food. Yeah, planes are pretty good, I guess, for um, the fact that there are so many animals. Oh, what? No way. A village? Sweet. It's a freaking village. All right, we're in business. Oh, and I think this is a smithy, isn't it? 
indeed it is. And what treasures await me inside? Iron, alright. Iron helmet. Apples and some saplings. I don't really care much for the saplings. But, um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And the library has a crafting table, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Sweet. Iron pick. And iron helmet. Yeah. But wait, zombies come. Hmm. I'll have to defend these villagers. The only way I can. By the sword. And it was probably more epic than it actually was. I tried to make that sound more epic than it actually was. And is this a cave or just a collapse in the road? Seems just a collapse in the road. And now all the testificates rush inside. No, but this is a cave, I'm pretty sure. Whoop. Mushrooms down there, some uranium. I thought that was a creeper. Uranium's used in nuclear power plants and stuff. Well, need to gather this iron up. Oop. Careful. Don't have long before the mob spawn, so. Yep, there we are. Let's get back to town with uh, the iron I managed to grab real quick. I can sit. I can sit in the smelty or smelty uh, smithy and smelt it. I thought those certificates ran inside during the night. Strange. Oh, right, I turned all my coal into torches. Damn it. Why did I do that? I am stupid. What? No. Bad zombie. You okay? Okay. Gotta try and save these people. Yeah, they're all trying to get inside there, I think. Um, here you go, guys. <laughs> okay. Ag. Mobs, mobs everywhere. Ugh. Gotta defend these testificates. Well, talk about a first friggin' episode. Found a village and testificates to defend. Hopefully, we haven't taken too many casualties this night. Anyone home? Okay then. <clears throat> I swear to help these brave, brave beings. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Damn it, stop delaying me, Creeper. Damn it, I'm just too starving to run. No, you will not take this certificate. Apparently he fell into a hole. Yeah, you were pretty safe in here until I dug you up. Sorry, dude. <laughs> right, so I need some kind of coal, don't I? Darn, that's gonna be tricky. No, you don't, spider. 
I also need to be able to cook my food. Oh shoot. Ah. Oh. Crap. Stupid creeper. Well, I got some wheat. It'll be enough. Let's put this down here. Hope that tides me over until the morning. Wait, I have enough wool for a bed. What am I doing? Yeah. The question is, which one of these houses do I want? I don't think I want any of them, actually, but... Well, just to put my bed indoors, uh, I'll take this for now. Yup. There we go. Hopefully that saves the rest of the testificates. And I think this is going to be the end of the first episode. Eh, because they're all coming out. There are survivors, and there are enough to reproduce. I'll have to mine for coal and then cobblestone and try and set up some kind of defensive perimeter, I suppose. This is my best course of action. Until then, see everyone next time. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to me. Um, and yeah, that's it. This is Galvin, signing off.